the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, surpasses all other space telescopes in power, including the iconic Hubble. Its design is so massive and intricate that it had to be folded like origami to fit inside the rocket that launched it into space. Its precision is extraordinary. It operates at temperatures just above absolute zero to prevent its own heat from interfering with its ultra-sensitive instruments. The telescope represents an extraordinary investment, $10 billion and decades of meticulous development. It faced over 300 potential points of failure before achieving full functionality. Yet, it is now operational, embarking on a groundbreaking mission. JWST aims to study planetary systems for signs of life, explore the formation of stars, planets and galaxies, and gaze across the universe to detect objects so distant their light has traveled for nearly the universe's entire existence. Simply put, JWST is designed to uncover the first stars and galaxies, offering a glimpse into the origins of time and space. The James Webb Space Telescope has already unveiled groundbreaking discoveries that are transforming our understanding of the universe. It has detected key chemical markers in the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, including water and carbon-based compounds, offering tantalizing hints about the potential for life beyond Earth. It has also provided stunning clarity of ancient galaxies, revealing their structure and composition from a time when the universe was only a few hundred million years old. Additionally, JWST has delivered unprecedented views of star-forming regions, shedding light on the processes that drive the birth of stars and planetary systems. These discoveries are just the beginning of what promises to be a new era of cosmic exploration. First conceptualized in the 1990s, JWST was initially expected to cost $1 billion and launch by 2007. However, countless delays and challenges extended its timeline. It wasn't until December 2021 that it finally took flight. Since then, the telescope has spent months unfolding, activating its systems, and testing its components. This 6,500-kilogram engineering marvel features a sunshield with dimensions comparable to a tennis court, 14 by 21 meters, and a light-collecting mirror six times larger in area than Hubble's. This expansive mirror enables it to capture more photons, producing sharper images of distant cosmic phenomena. Equipped with a suite of advanced cameras and scientific instruments, JWST is designed to operate across the infrared spectrum, a crucial capability for its mission. As the universe expands, the light from the most distant regions is stretched into infrared wavelengths, making an infrared telescope indispensable for observing these ancient sources. Furthermore, JWST's ability to penetrate dust clouds and debris allows it to reveal objects beyond Hubble's reach. While the James Webb Space Telescope is often compared to Hubble, their capabilities complement rather than compete with each other. Hubble excels in visible light observation, while JWST focuses on the infrared spectrum. Together, they form a powerful partnership, advancing our understanding of the cosmos. But let's dive into what you're here for, the astonishing sights JWST can reveal. Starting with breathtaking images from our own galaxy, we'll gradually expand our view to the edges of the knowable universe. Prepare for a journey filled with awe-inspiring discoveries. Let's begin with nebulas. Our first destination is the breathtaking Cosmic Cliffs, a region within the Carina Nebula known as NGC 3324, located approximately 7,600 light-years from Earth. These towering structures, standing around seven light-years tall, form part of a much larger nebula with a hollowed-out core. This cavity has been carved by powerful stellar winds from young stars, which have cleared the surrounding dust, creating the striking edge visible in this image. Scientists are particularly fascinated by this region because it offers critical insights into star formation. Within this zone, stellar winds compress dust and gas, creating the ideal conditions for stars to be born. However, the exact mechanisms of star formation remain shrouded in mystery. What are the precise stages? How do they unfold? Observing this process is challenging, because the very dust essential to star formation also obscures our view, enveloping nascent stars and protective cocoons that block visible light. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, excels. Unlike earlier telescopes, JWST can peer through these dusty shrouds with its mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. 
unveiling unprecedented details. Compare this image to Hubble's, JWST provides a clearer, more detailed view, allowing scientists to probe the hidden intricacies of stellar nurseries. The data it gathers will fuel star formation research for years to come. From the birth of stars, we now turn to their demise. Our next stop is NGC 3132, the Southern Ring Nebula, located much closer to home. JWST captured this stunning planetary nebula using two of its powerful instruments, the near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, and MIRI, providing complementary views. Unlike regular nebulas, which are star-forming regions, planetary nebulas are the remnants of dying stars. The term planetary nebula is a historical misnomer. Early astronomers named them after their rounded shapes, which resembled planets through primitive telescopes. The name endured, though its meaning has since evolved. Planetary nebulas like the Southern Ring Nebula are created when aging stars expel vast amounts of dust and gas during the final stages of their lives. These materials form intricate and often symmetrical structures that JWST's instruments can capture with remarkable clarity, offering a deeper understanding of how stars end their life cycles and contribute their material back to the cosmos. Understanding the chemical composition of cosmic dust is crucial for unraveling the universe's building blocks. By knowing what materials exist, scientists can better predict what future generations of stars will be made of. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, excels. Its ability to penetrate layers of dust and reveal hidden details is invaluable. Comparing JWST's images to those from Hubble showcases the astonishing increase in clarity and detail. One remarkable discovery from these observations is that the second star within this planetary nebula system has yet to explode. Its own planetary nebula is still forming, offering a rare opportunity to study this process as it unfolds. JWST has also revealed how the gravitational interplay between the two stars stirs the surrounding nebula, creating intricate and fascinating dust patterns. Now, let's venture beyond our galaxy. At a distance of 161,000 light-years lies the Tarantula Nebula, named for its resemblance to a giant spider spinning its web. This stunning region is not only visually captivating, but also scientifically significant. It mirrors conditions thought to exist during a period known as Cosmic Noon, approximately one billion years after the Big Bang, when star formation was at its peak. JWST has identified stars here that are in the earliest stages of their formation, providing a rare glimpse into the birth of stars during this critical cosmic era. Looking even farther out, our focus shifts from individual stars to entire galaxies. Stefan's Quintet, a group of five galaxies, though one is merely aligned from our perspective, is a breathtaking spectacle. This cluster gained fame as part of the classic film, It's a Wonderful Life. Astronomers predict that four of these galaxies will eventually collide, and two are already interacting. Thanks to JWST's advanced imaging, we can see the brilliantly hot dust being ejected as these two central galaxies gravitationally dance around one another. The forces at play here are immense, and the energy generated is beyond comprehension. A cosmic ballet on a galactic scale. This stunning image wasn't captured in a single shot. Instead, it's a composite of nearly 1,000 individual images taken by JWST, meticulously assembled by scientists to achieve extraordinary resolution. The result is a breathtakingly detailed view that allows us to study these interactions in ways never before possible. Let's push the boundaries even further, out to a point where even the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, begins to strain. One of its most astonishing achievements is captured in an image known as Webb's first deep field. This image focuses on an area of the sky so minuscule that it would be completely obscured by a single grain of sand held at arm's length. At this scale, individual stars are nearly invisible. What you see instead are entire galaxies, many of them so distant that their light has traveled billions of years to reach us. In this image, the gravitational lensing effect is on full display. Massive foreground objects warp the light from more distant sources, creating distorted arcs and magnified views of galaxies far behind them. Here, JWST has effectively taken us to the very edges of the observable universe. Of the observ Among these galaxies is one of the oldest ever detected. Its light, 
emitted at the dawn of the universe, has only now reached Earth after a journey of 13.1 billion years. This faint red dot, barely noticeable amidst the cosmic tapestry, was born when the universe itself was in its infancy, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. To find it, scientists analyzed the redshift of its light, comparing it to the spectra of closer objects, to calculate its immense distance. You might be underwhelmed by how small this ancient galaxy appears, but there's reason for excitement. Compare this image to a similar one captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. While JWST's version is noticeably sharper and reveals more detail, the key difference lies in how the images were created. Hubble required 10 days of continuous observation to compile its image, painstakingly collecting every photon from this tiny patch of sky. JWST, on the other hand, captured its breathtaking deep field in just half a day. This incredible efficiency hints at the telescope's untapped potential. If JWST can produce such a detailed image in 1 20th the time, imagine the clarity and depth it could achieve with prolonged observation. In other words, the tiny red dot we see today is likely just the beginning of what JWST can reveal about the universe's earliest moments. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, represents the pinnacle of modern engineering and scientific innovation, designed to explore the cosmos with unparalleled precision. At its core lies a 6.5-meter primary mirror, composed of 18 hexagonal segments made of lightweight beryllium and coated with a fine layer of gold. This mirror, engineered to fold for launch and autonomously deploy in space, captures and reflects infrared light with extraordinary efficiency. Accompanying this is a sunshield, roughly the size of a tennis court, constructed from heat-resistant captain layers. This shield reduces solar radiation, maintaining cryogenic temperatures critical for JWST's instruments. Among these instruments is the near-infrared camera, NIAR cam which captures the faint light of distant galaxies and includes coronagraphs for studying exoplanets. The near-infrared spectrograph, NIAR-SPEC, features a micro-shutter array, allowing simultaneous observation of up to 100 celestial objects and enabling detailed analyses of their composition and motion. The mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, extends observations into the mid-infrared spectrum, allowing JWST to peer through cosmic dust and study cooler objects such as forming stars and distant planets. Further enhancing its capabilities is the Fine Guidance Sensor, which ensures precise alignment during observations, coupled with the Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, NIRIS, which specializes in exoplanet studies and faint object detection. To support these instruments, a cryogenic cooling system maintains MIRI's temperature at a frigid minus 266 degrees Celsius, enabling it to detect faint mid-infrared signals. JWST's advanced optics include a wavefront sensing and control system, which uses adaptive alignment to maintain the mirror's precision. Orbiting at the second Lagrange point, L2, 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, the telescope benefits from a stable environment with minimal interference from Earth's heat and light. Positioned here, JWST utilizes a precise thruster system to maintain its orientation and alignment. The telescope's instruments generate vast amounts of data, which are processed on board and transmitted to Earth via the Deep Space Network. This robust communication system ensures seamless transmission of JWST's observations across millions of kilometers, combining its innovative design, groundbreaking technology, and powerful instruments JWST offers a transformative view of the universe. Its ability to observe distant galaxies, uncover the processes of star formation, and study the atmospheres of exoplanets promises to redefine our understanding of the cosmos, making it the most advanced observatory ever built. With decades of discovery ahead, the James Webb Space Telescope embodies humanity's enduring quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST, stationed at the second Lagrange point, L2, has made extraordinary contributions to our understanding of the cosmos in 2024. Situated approximately 1.5 million kilometers, about 1 million miles from Earth, this strategic location provides a stable environment for its mission. 
the gravitational balance at L2 allows JWST to orbit this point while maintaining an unobstructed view of deep space. Its sun shield protects the telescope's sensitive instruments from light and heat, enabling it to capture faint infrared signals with unparalleled precision. This year, JWST has pushed the boundaries of our knowledge of the early universe. Knowledge of the er Among its significant achievements is the discovery of JD's GSZ-14-0, the most distant galaxy ever observed. Located at a redshift of 14.32, this galaxy offers a glimpse into a period just 300 million years after the Big Bang. Its remarkable size and luminosity suggest that galaxies in the early universe formed and evolved far more rapidly than previously thought challenging existing models of cosmic evolution. In another groundbreaking observation, JWST detected evidence pointing to the existence of Population 3 stars, the first generation of stars to form in the universe. These stars, composed only of hydrogen and helium, have been elusive, but their signatures were detected in the galaxy GN-Z11. This finding brings us closer to understanding the first light that illuminated the universe after the cosmic dark ages. Additionally, GNZ-11 was revealed to host the most distant supermassive black hole yet discovered, weighing around 2 million solar masses. This discovery sheds light on how massive black holes influenced galaxy formation during the universe's earliest stages. As JWST continues its journey of discovery, it promises to revolutionize our understanding of phenomena ranging from the atmospheres of distant exoplanets to the large-scale structure of the cosmos. These findings affirm the telescope's pivotal role in exploring the origins and evolution of the universe. From its position at L2, JWST stands as a testament to human ingenuity, expanding the boundaries of science with every new image and data set it delivers. Lastly, could the James Webb Space Telescope ever journey to the edge of interstellar space, rivaling the epic voyages of the Voyager spacecraft? The James Webb Space Telescope JWST will not travel as far as the Voyager spacecraft. Its mission design keeps it stationed in a stable halo orbit around the second Lagrange point, L2, which is about 1.5 million kilometers, approximately 1 million miles, from Earth. This location was specifically chosen to optimize its capabilities for infrared observations, allowing it to remain in a thermally stable and interference-free environment, critical for its sensitive instruments. In contrast, the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft, launched in 1977, were designed as interstellar missions. They have traveled far beyond the influence of the sun's gravity, reaching interstellar space. Let us know in the comments what excites you most about JWST's findings, or what mysteries you hope it will uncover next. Until next time, keep looking up and marveling at the universe. Thanks for watching.